afternoon, there was disbelief at the prospect of council tax bills going up by 15%. Well, what can you say? Who would want a 15% hike in their council tax? No, that's a, a, a big chunk of money. And I think for a lot of people that will be too much. Well, that's outrageous, isn't it, eh? A shock, maybe, but the council leader hopes they will back his tax rise in a referendum this May. He said it's the only way to stave off further cuts. I certainly know the books in Surrey. I've been doing them long enough now, and I know that we do need this money. We have a gap which we cannot fund without asking the residents to help us. It is for them that we're doing this, not for us. A 15% rise would put up bills for a band D property by nearly £200. Current rules limit increases to 5%, 3% of which is ring-fenced for social care. Cabinet ministers whose constituents would be affected include Philip Hammond, Chris Grayling and Jeremy Hunt. The health secretary also happens to be the man who the council blame for big cuts in social care they've already had to make. This is the reality of years of cuts. A care home for the elderly set to close its doors this summer. And it's not alone. Surrey County Council is set to act six in all, it says, to help balance the books. And it's why some say they will vote yes in the referendum. I think if it's going for useful purposes like social care for the elderly, I think it would be worth voting for, definitely. But whether a majority agree with that is far from certain. Libby Vina, ITV News, Surrey.